the combos are been. Good, very early morning, Hannah. <laughs> I had a little nap myself. <laughs> Must be very morning for the early morning for both of us. Oh man, okay. I'm excited. We might get cherry pie today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, I think um, I think we just uh, turn the cabinets. Oh boy, <laughs> it's always it's always the hardest part with these. It's just going, just just do it, just do it. All right, all right, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Hopefully everything should be working just fine. We can finish that later. Oh yeah, I, already, I also changed the oranges. So if I need a four, I can stack them right there instead of having to like go find a counter. And then you can back up a little bit extra. Missed so much since the last one. <laughs> you only had two types of salad, mesmerizing tea to go around. Potato, oh yeah. Yep. We've been working away at this one, that's for sure. It's definitely evolved. <laughs> Last night we added, gosh, we, we definitely added carrot soup and oranges, I think. I can't remember. What do you want? We've added quite a bit. And with it, we I added bread off stream. I think we, pumpkin pumpkin pies were, were last night too, right? I, I can't remember. I played a lot last night. I think I did like five hours. I got the bread, the Brit, the dread boards. Yeah, the dread boards. Gross. Okay. But honestly, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Pumpkin pie. Sneak in here, get a bit more copying done. There is no one here. Another thing we want to look out for is coffee tables to dupe. I don't know if there's really room to dupe anything anywhere. Not once you get all the food. Is that a rush timer? It is. Yeah, it's a it's a Milo mod. Oh, whoops, I don't need this. It's a Milo mod. So it, it tells me when the next batch of people are coming in. It's not it's not just for rushes, it's just for any groups. But it's really nice because at the end of the day, I can see exactly how much time I have left until closing time kicks in. Useful and practical. Of course it's a Milo Mott. Yeah. Exactly. You got it. So the driver's going left instead of right. What's the double starters? Yeah, I've got uh, all you can eat, so there's a chance they'll double again on any of the three courses. Only once, though. Hmm. What happened there? Tomato. Potato. 
Tree stand blender? No, that was definitely a tree stand blender. Oops. <laughs> Did you need that for your bingo? Soup and oranges. Welcome, Moon. Every time I come to stream, I've got a different card because time zones. And apparently need to sleep in order to be protective at work. They don't understand the importance of plate up streams, right? Mine too. They're just like you had to show up here at this time, and I'm like, but I need to sleep. <laughs> and I'm like, that's too dang bad. Welcome, Swan Des. Oh, hi. Hello. How's it going? It's plate up time, it's plate up time, it's plate up time! Um, where are the oranges at now? This is so chill! Who would have thought that breadboards could be so chill? Normally they're so stressful to set up and everything, but honestly, they're not that bad. I was really worried the bread wouldn't be fast enough, but barely anyone orders it, so there's always like a loaf ready to go. So excited when it's time to watch Plate Up, yay! <laughs> Me too! Welcome Pug Life! Plate Up time is my favorite time of the day! Yay! Especially this run. I'm I'm so obsessed with this one. You get excited when you're awake and 2D streaming. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I, I decided to start a little bit earlier today. Mostly just because I couldn't wait. <laughs> I spent some time this afternoon um, reorganizing this. And then I kind of just hung out. Had, some, had a late lunch and then... And then I <laughs> needed a nap. I think I took like a 20 minute power nap. That was really nice. Suppose Overcooked is a good one as well. Yeah! Overcooked is fun too! Yeah! I love Overcooked, but my sister isn't as excited. That's fair. I, I can relate to that. I learned how to play Overcooked by myself because my sister didn't always want to play with me. And online co-op was not a thing back then for Overcooked. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Snazzy! There is no one here! I prefer plate up because of corner grabs. I agree. Overcooked is always gonna have a special place in my heart. But dang. No corner grabs? It's kinda painful. <laughs> I think corner grabs are the greatest invention of cooking games ever. 
Or just, I guess just any game. It's so awkward when you have to like run around to go reach something. Ooh. Like you can you can corner grab in Stardew. That's cool. But what what are games you can't really corner grab in? Um, Dino Bros. I don't think you can corner grab that one. Um, I haven't played that for a bit though. I can't remember. Like I feel like most cooking games like that you ha you can't do a corner grab. But played up is really cool. This needs a few calls. I I don't have a phone. <laughs> I didn't have room for it. I had to throw it away. The phone got binned, yes. And eventually, once we run out of food cards, it's gonna start ramping up. Just hang in there. This is just a warm-up for Tootie. The phone was pitched about 20 days ago. Yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe even longer ago. I can't remember. Because at, at a certain point, we had like 200 customers coming in, right? And I'm just like, I can't I can't even call right now. I'm not using this thing. And I, I just threw it out. It's gone. This runs nearly at triple digits. I know, it's so exciting. I'm definitely hoping to hit 100 today. A day usually takes about 15 minutes. Depends how much I do, how much setup I do in between. But considering how I've only got three food carts coming in, it should be ice cream, chips, and uh, cherry pies. Ice cream, I know exactly where it's going. Cherry pies, it's just, it's gonna be automated in this corner up here. Prep station right there. And I guess picky eater is the only other card we have to adjust for. You ever cracked 100 before? I I have. I I did a really big um, autumn run in the I think it was in the spring, like la like a year, almost a year ago, I guess. Maybe over over half a year ago. I don't know. Anyway, but I hit overtime 144. I guess it was last summer, and then the bakery update came out, and it kind of. I didn't really want to continue that run until they added added it so I could get the bakery cards in, in that run. And that never happened. And then I, I just... I still have the file. I just never I never continued it. But if I did another run like that, I'd probably do a bit bigger map. Maybe this size? This size would be good. Because I was running out of space for bigger tables. Unfortunately. But who knows? Maybe we'll beat OT 40, 144 in this one. You never know. Pumpkin soup. But yeah, we'll just we'll just get through. We've got like three more reduction cards coming up, and then <clears throat> it's gonna ramp up. And I I might I might end up taking customer cards before the food cards. I think it really depends what we get. Might be in my best interest to take all the food cards ASAP. So then if I'm given cards like picky eaters or leisurely, I can just choose whatever the other option is. I'm also trying to get individual dining before I get forced to take medium groups. But I think I think I I pretty much take any card over medium groups. Cause I know that card's gonna ruin my setup. I'd have to reduce to so many tables. <laughs> like one or two tables instead of five. Which would hurt. Welcome Snow Bunny. Welcome Kel. Hello. Hi everyone. Okay. Hello? Potato, potato. Good to be on holiday, but sad about the terrible travel. Terrible travel? Are you okay? Oh, on this vacation, uh, overnight stay, sister drew three hours to because of huge congestion. Oh, gotcha. I guess it's spring break for a lot of people, right? So 
All the highways are clogged up with travelers. Oh. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Um, let's see. Easter break this weekend? Yeah. Every man and his dog on the motorway? Oh gosh. You're just sailing through that motorway. Is that highway? Is that how you call the highway in like not North America? <laughs> I've never heard it called that before. Do 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 do. Come on, come on in, folks. How's the soup? I gotta be very careful about the soup pots. Oh, that's not soup. Oh. Okay, that's closing time. I've got a minute. And, and a bit. A minute and a bit. Welcome, Christy. Her. Call them highways. Oh, okay. Okay, that's all our soup. Um, tomato, pumpkin, carrot, oh, meat still going, broccoli, I can wait. There you go. Alright, we've done it. We survived the day. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, I have to be right back really quick. I need to get a sweater. Burb! Brush. Okay, I'm back. Oh, thank you for the gifted sub to Scrimbly. Thank you so much. You see. What is ACF?
Okay, um... Always check freezers? <laughs> That's a new one, I like that. Always check freezers. Alright, I don't have any changes to make. So we're gonna keep going. Oh, let me turn my blueprints outside. Because the one thing I am looking for would be coffee tables. Where are the other blueprints? Um. There's one. Did they spawn on top of each other? One, two, three, whoops, four. Where's the other one? Should I not get five? Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a spot back there. Oh, a grabber. I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, can't remember where you first heard the acronym. GG, yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, I don't need any of those things. Everything is copied. Yeah, everything is copied. Okay, and we just keep going. Sounds like GG, yeah. Could be, could be. Ah, oh, it's so laggy when the day starts. Hello, 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 hello? I mean, honestly, if we see a booking desk, I might just buy the ding thing. It's kind of slow, not gonna lie. I don't think there was anything I really needed to reroll for, but maybe if we have to throw everything out when we automate the last apple pies. Maybe I'll re-roll for coffee tables with the with the blueprints that we were gonna throw out anyway. Hello. Ew, gross. Apple. Not a single Pringle. Okay, single Pringles don't last long here. <laughs> if I saw a Pringle, I would eat it. Just saying. Welcome, Kuwu. Hello. Welcome, Kisei. I mean, what? That sounds like eating. Yeah, sure. Why not? Good enough. Good enough. Sitting with you. Okay, I guess since you're not a single Pringle, I won't eat you. Okay. All right. Hello, Pringles. Pringles, are you out there? How are you? I'm good. I'm playing plate up. <laughs> I'm great. We're going to go to overtime 100 today. I'm excited. How are you doing, Kubu? Welcome, Tiny Turtle Thief. Huh? Hey. 
I love Pringles, right? They're so dangerous. Dangerously good. I would like the sour cream ones. Um, or the the cheddar ones. Look at this, the orange one. It's like cheddar. The barbecue ones aren't bad. Usually I don't like barbecue chips, but I like the crinkle ones. They're so bad though. Oh, I want, now I want Pringles. Oh man. Time to start some chat drama. Oh, I already answered your question. I didn't even see it yet. <laughs> Definitely the sour cream ones. Plain or simple? I mean, the plain ones are pretty good. Honestly, I'll take plain Pringles over no Pringles. There's some... What are the ones that aren't that good? Um... I mean, usually I get sour, the sour cream ones, or the barbecue ones, or the cheddar ones. What other flavors are there? The, the regular ones. I don't think I get any of the other ones. I can't even... I couldn't even tell you what the other ones are. Sour cream and chive, that's the one I get. That's, I think that's what the one I meant. Right? Or is that different than sour cream and onion? It almost sounds the same, you know? Uh, pizza sriracha? Oh. Um, I've never had those ones. I might try the pizza one. I generally cannot tolerate spicy chips. Pizza or shoe cream and chot? Wow. I'm gonna have to go get some Pringles today. <laughs> Demolish a tube of original ready salted Pringles. Salt and vinegar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like salt and vinegar. I don't know if I've ever had salt and vinegar Pringles. But I do I do like salt and vinegar once in a while. Sweet potato. Oh, cool. Welcome, Harley Quinn. Shoe cream sounds funky. I don't want to eat your shoe cream. That's gross. Ew. Gross. Kisei will be eat any Pringles? Okay. We're just gonna have a party. Everyone bring your own Pringles. B-Y-O-P. That's like bring your own P. <laughs> Still learning spacing for the keyboard and a new phone. Nice, nice. New phone. That's okay. You'll get the hang of it. I can barely type on my phone. I mean, I know how to. I'm just, you know, I'm not a big texter. Ketchup ruffles? Okay. You're on. I didn't know they made ketchup ruffles. I feel like I should know this. Ketchup's a Canadian flavor. Wait, Aaron, weren't you? Wait, Aaron, where are you? I thought you were in the UK. Am I? Are you not in the UK? Discos and their salt and vinegar chips are so zingy. You're Southern Ontario. Oh. Okay. Well. Now I know. <laughs> I often see you in Jay's chat, so I just assumed you were. You were like a lot of his viewers are from the UK. Because you know earlier time zones. It all makes sense now. I just thought you stayed up really late. <laughs> ketchup flavor walkers chip in UK? Yeah, yeah, ketchup ketchup chips are good. Like wait, what's a brand that Americans would know? Do do Americans have Lay's? Lay's potato chips? Is that or is that Canadian? I always forget. Pickle flavored. Oh yeah, like dill pickle. Um, yeah, those are okay. I think it just depends. You guys have Lay's? Okay, good. Welcome, Doubler. How are you? Like, their ketchup chips are pretty. They're, they're fine. They're all right. Not bad. Lay's is the American version of Walker's. Oh. Oh, like it's actually the same company? They just rebranded it? Weird. Strange. Okay. I guess they didn't think the name Walkers would work very well in, in America. Maybe, maybe they didn't. Did it? 
Maybe they didn't think people wanted to walk to the store to get them or something. Ha, <laughs> but I'm tisk. Ruffles are still made by Frito Lay. Yay! That's good. Dude, I haven't had ruffles in a while. I like the the all dressed ruffles. Those are good. Oh, dude, I want those now. The the ones that are um. Wait, are ruffles always like um like slanted? Like oh, the cut the cut. It's like I don't. It's like it's like um not slanted. Wavy, wavy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Food chat. Sorry, not sorry. Good thing I just had dinner. Or late lunch. Liner. I'm full. <laughs> you can't get me today, chat. I'm full. Ridges. Crinkle cut. Okay, yeah. Not... Not whatever I said. <laughs> Thicker and ridged versions of Lay's. Yeah. Mm-mm. Those are good. Ruffles are the superior chip for French onion dip. Ooh. I don't usually... I can't remember the last time I had chips with a dip. Honestly, when I buy chips, it's just like, it, you better taste good on your own because... Um... You know the dips? Like, sometimes you either have too much dip or too much chip left, right? And then you're like, what do I do? Do I buy more chips or do just not use the dip, you know? So my solution is just... Find chips that taste good on their own. The waves hold more dip. <laughs> this is potato chip theory. I'm a potato, I would know. This is my area of expertise. Yep. Although I swear, I, I might have, I think the last time I had chips was probably New Year's. I don't usually buy them. No, I think I've had Pringles. I'm also, I think I bought Pringles like a month or so ago. I don't usually buy chips. I'm more of a popcorn gal. I can eat more popcorn and feel, not feel so bad about it, you know? <laughs> it's not as fattening. <laughs> My sister literally had Doritos and sour cream dip yesterday. Interesting. She had leftover dip and dunked little nibbly chicken sausage things in the leftover dip. Oh, that's smart. Yum. That sounds delicious. Just finished a bag of ruffles and- Oh, sour cream and bacon. Is that a newer flavor? Like in the, in the last 10 years? Look, I'm dancer. I love popcorn. Uh, oh, uh, salty popcorn. I don't really like sweet popcorn. It's too... Like... I don't like it... It gets, it's sticky, and then you just get, it's just too sweet, and you get sick of it after all. Like, if I want something sweet, I want chocolate. My, uh, my boyfriend's from Germany, and they only really eat sweet popcorn. Like, at the movie theater, you know how we get, like, salty butter popcorn? They get, like, sweet popcorn. That's probably one of our biggest, um, disagreements, is, like, which popcorn is superior. Every time I'm eating popcorn, he's like, yeah, that's inferior popcorn, SMH. <laughs> Welcome to Remisu. Oh. Whoops. Nobody saw that. Welcome, Suki. Hello, I'm not a big chip person. My wife from South America mixes different chips in a bowl, seasons them as lime juice. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, dude, you know what's so good? There's, like, um, tortilla chips. And sometimes you can get them with, like, a lime flavor to it. And the best thing to do with those is bake them in the oven, melt cheese on them. It tastes so good. I love that. And then with some salsa, sour cream. And then you can put ground beef on it. Mmm, so good. <laughs> Maybe vegetables if you want. You don't have to. Caramel, toffee-coated popcorn. I, yeah, just- and it gets stuck in your teeth. I don't- I mean, normal popcorn gets stuck in your teeth, but... Eh. 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 It's- it's nice. A few bites is nice. Like, I remember as a kid, sometimes we'd make homemade caramel popcorn. That was really good. But the stuff in the bags at the store, just... Meh. It's just mediocre. Loaded nachos always feels a bit messy. Worth it. 
Sometimes I eat it with a spoon. <laughs> if I don't want to get my fingers mucky. I'll just, I'll just, I will eat it with a spoon. Popcorn with a small handful of mini chocolate chips. Mmm. I've got a friend who does that. Like, she, when she goes to the theater, she ha she gets, like, uh, Smarties, which is, they're, like, they're kind of like M&M's. What? It's, it's like a candy, like, if you're in the UK, you know what Smarties are. If you're in America, no, not those ones. But, um... It's little chocolates, right? She likes doing it. She likes dumping it. Oh, I need two boards for these people. Oh my gosh. Ever buy the scoop chips and make a bite-sized nacho? What is a scoop chip? Are these available in Canada? I feel like we don't get as much stuff up here. <laughs> Welcome, Barry Bones here. Hey, Smarties. Smarties. I got you. <laughs> They're pretty. <laughs> They taste okay, but like whenever we have Halloween candy, like there's certain boxes, it's like assorted treats, and like you give them out to the kids, and then the leftover stuff, you eat them, and the Smarties are always the ones that are left behind. I'll eat them, but Coffee Crisp and Kit Kat and Arrow are better. Apple, apple. Tostitos and Fritos have scoop chips? I've never heard of these. Wow. Fancy. I'm so, I'm so, I'm the kind of person who like, I generally don't try new things unless like someone recommends it. And I might take some recommendations of, from this stream, but uh, like I just have my go-tos and I'm just, I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even, I didn't, I've never even seen any of these things in the store before. Cause I just beeline for the thing I want. <laughs> the thing I know I'm gonna like. <laughs> Welcome Shevik. Butter, oh no, no, my pies. I was, I was looking at chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, butter, popcorn, and my parents' house, and my mom was melting the butter over the radiator once? <gasps> and it dropped- Whoa, hang on, I gotta finish reading that. Um... And the butter dripped down onto the cat's head because she was sleeping under the radiator cat. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> butter mohawk. Oh my gosh, I thought- I thought that story was gonna get really bad. Wait, how's the soup? Um, I thought that story was gonna get really bad because, like, you're cooking it on the radiator? Hmm. That's safe. <laughs> yeah, Canadian Smarties are a little different than from M&M's. Um, honestly, I, I prefer M&M's over Smarties, but I'll, I'll take them both. Both chocolate, good enough. <laughs> Boards with bread could be an issue. Boards with bread could be... Oh, like... I didn't look at it. Oh, I haven't, I haven't looked at it. Did we run out of boards? Did they go one way or the other? Oh, God. Um... I mean, if it's really a problem, I can start throwing out boards and I could just start throwing them out. I do have a board stack here. I have no idea how to get it into the system though. This is just like, oh, I spent like an hour reworking this today. This is the best I could come up with. I have no idea. They were stacked on- four stacked on cheese and only two breadboards prepped? Oh my god, no. How do you even fix that? Well... Welcome, Kokoro? <laughs> Canadian Smarties chocolate tastes cheap slash thinned out chocolate to me. Yeah. Have you tried the UK ones at all, Erin? Maybe they're better in the UK. I don't know. The Canadian ones are- they're okay. It's cheap chocolate. Melting butter over the radiator. radiator. The cat- well, the cat was seeking warmth. <laughs> and they got warm butter. You didn't know they had them in the UK? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, what's the brand? Um, is it Nestle? Oh, who does who does Smarties and 
I want to say it's Nestle. They're in the UK as well. Yeah, it's Nestle. Yeah, I, I didn't know that they also have them in the UK. It's like, oh, cool. Because every time I mention them to Americans, they're like, you mean those chalky little rocket candies? I mean, those chalky little candies that, that are, if you're Canadian, or from the UK. Wait, do you does the UK have rockets? Do you guys know what those are? Because rockets are like this really chalky candy. And it's kind of like... Ugh. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> Smarties in the UK are pretty good, but crispy M&Ms are better. I like M&Ms with, um, with the peanuts in them. Those are good. <laughs> You don't have rockets. Okay. Uh, once again, can Canada is just a poor, confused mashup of America and UK. Sometimes we like the stuff UK does. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we like the stuff America does. Sometimes we don't. We spell things weird. Our candies are called weird things. We use the wrong metric system and the imperial system all at the same time. Ugh. <laughs> you just don't get it. You don't understand my strife. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> Fruit and nut bar from Dairy Milk. Wait, is that a brand? Oh. Oh, I've seen that brand. I don't normally... Is it Cadbury? This Cadbury Dairy Milk? Is that it? Coffee Crisp. I love Coffee Crisp. Welcome experience her. Coffee Crisp is like probably my favorite cheap chocolate bar. <laughs> Don't even start in the French Canadians. Uh, Lee Shat. Lee Shat. <laughs> Never been to Canada. Only live a few hours away. Yeah. I mean, it's probably about almost about the same. There's just, you know, some differences in products. Meh. You can assume that most things you have in Canada, we have here in the UK, unless it's specifically made in Canada or the US. Oh, yeah. But I think I think that's normal. Like, there's so many brands that are universal. And then... Like, every country has their own, like, special things they make. I've got a friend from Sweden, and he just loves trying, like, um... Sweets and stuff from other countries and then they stop selling them and then he's like, oh man They don't sell that one anymore. And I'm like, dude, you got to find some local stuff <laughs> They're gonna... They're... These guys are gonna ruin you <laughs> Cadbury fruit and nut is the goat that give me a sec me. <laughs> right as I start the day, two big sneezes. Hot cocoa has wheat in it as filler? What? Oh. That's not right. It's kind of gross how much filler they put in things. Like, why? Just make it taste good. Make it better quality. People will buy it more. But no, you want to reduce your production costs by making it taste, like, awful. And then remember Tim Hortons used to taste good? That was before the, um... Wait, is this soup okay? That was before... Yeah, it's all fine. That was before they, uh, stopped baking the stuff in-house. Oh, bread board. Partial to double-deckers. Like a sandwich? Dude, I haven't had one of those in ages. Or, or is this like a candy? <laughs> is this a chocolate bar? We need pictures. Pictures in the Discord. It's a chocolate bar. Ooh. Ooh. In the U.S. you have to buy oats that are specifically gluten-free. Wow, really? That ain't right. Yay, 
Yeah, Julie. Yeah, Julie, for sure. I've been talking about other Canadian stuff, too. Welcome, Julia Bill. <laughs> Same in Canada. No surprise there. Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Canadian. There was a gift sub. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. Wait, Tootie's Canadian? Oh, nobody told me. I'm gonna have to call my dad. I can't believe this. This is an outrage. at the counter. <laughs> you know what would be funny? If I had a, a restaurant and I had like, you know, this kind of counter and somehow I had them saying sorry. Like, oh, that's my sorry counter. That's my oopsie counter. Oopsie. Sorry. Oopsie. Sorry. Boyfriend's gluten-free, can't believe how much stuff you can't eat. Oh gosh. Aw. That's really stressful. Oops. Welcome, Frosty. <laughs> gluten-free replacements for most things. Except good cinnamon rolls. Oh <gasps> no! I can't remember the last time I had a cinnamon roll. Those things are so good. But I, I know if I buy one, I'm going to demolish it and like... Oh man. <laughs> Those things are so good. Tootie <laughs> opens up a bar every time she says sorry the entire bar gets a free drink. Wait, what? Funded by Suki. Thank you, Suki. <laughs> I'm gonna go broke. Good thing I got 150,000 in my played up bank account. Yay! Cinnamon rolls with gluten free flour. Ooh! Here you go. Yo, Swan Dust, can you send that recipe to Aaron? I think they need it. Like, really badly. <laughs> Decent cinnamon rolls require yeast. Oh. Well, Swandos is a really good baker slash cook, so I don't know. They might they might be pretty they might be pretty darn good. Every time Swandos posts pictures of food, I drool <laughs> a lot. <laughs> They're pretty good looking. <laughs> Wait. Goodbye. Goodbye, carrot soup. It's been nice. <laughs> it's been fun. One to one replacement flour and gluten for use. Oh. Hmm. Do you do anything special? Because doesn't yeast, like, rise differently? Doesn't it rise? Welcome, pixels. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad. Wait, how are the boards looking? Eh, we got some. They don't seem to want to... Hmm. That's concerning. How can I even fix that? 
I mean, my first solution is... Wait, what if I dump this out? Where does it go? Does it go to cheese boards? Okay, well, I mean, you know, if I really need the boards, I can just pray it goes the right way. Where's that one going? Okay, they're going to... I think they're going to breadboards today. I think it depends on the day. I think... an Oh, whoops. I think another breadboard stack somewhere would help. Because then we could have more bread breadboards in the system. I just don't know how to do it. I might have to add them in myself? Somehow? Just I could just throw them in. Or... No, there's no space for that. I don't know. I've definitely got a space for new boards to go up top. I could, yeah, might want to add them in. I'm glad I, I, I'm glad I bought that stack. Thank you for the reprime Zetsu. <laughs> Fifteen months. Thank you so much. Welcome, Muso. <laughs> Make most of my regular recipes just to about flour, but I don't have the patience for things rising. Fair, fair. It's a lot of work baking. Like, especially when you have to wait for the stages, right? It's definitely something you have to plan ahead. Like, okay, I'm gonna do this in the morning and then go do other stuff while I wait for that. <clears throat> Watch movies or something while you bake. Watch Plate Up. Play Plate Up. Play Stardew. Play Supermarket Sim. Play, um... Um... Uh, Overcooked. Play, uh, Minecraft. Uh... Play, play Plate Up again. <laughs> do you need all the stacks for the plates? I do. I actually do. I tested it with one less stack. And there, were, there actually weren't enough plates for the potato salad. So... I need a lot of plates in the system. Otherwise, potato salad doesn't have enough plates. And while I was testing it, I actually had a point where there were like three plates in the in the potato salad stack, and I'm like, ooh. So, but I've got like I could definitely put, I could put the boards here. I could I could even put them here. Maybe yeah, maybe I'll swap this with the boards, and then I could just go feed some into the system. I've downsized a bit. Yeah, I had to. I had to change a lot of things to make it work. I think I. I don't remember if I threw out any plate stacks, but I know this is the minimum number of plate stacks I can have. I think. And if I'm wrong, then oh well. <laughs> it's working. Our most recent change has been my daughter developing a sensitivity to peas and tons of gluten-free stuff as pea protein fiber. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, that's... Oh gosh. That's a lot. Aww. So now you gotta be even more careful. Aww. Is your daughter gluten free, or does she? Do you have her eating gluten? Does, does everyone eat gluten free? Just it's because it's safer for you. Like I don't, because sometimes people who are gluten free, they really can't do cross contamination at all, or like even breathing it can can bother them. She's gluten dairy free as well. Okay, or yeah, so a lot of a lot of sensitivities in the house, hey? Aww. Well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing you guys figured it out. <laughs> Otherwise, oh boy, I'm really enjoying the supermarket sim playthrough at the minute. I bought it after two minutes. Yay! <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Like the first time I watched supermarket sim, I'm just like, I need this game. I need this game in my life. <laughs> it's so fun. I don't know. How, I think I've got like 40 hours into it now. It's uh. Oh, and there was a new update this morning. They've added a couple things. They added like a closing. And an opening checkout? I don't know what that means. Like, you might be able to have customers after 9 p.m. I'm not sure how that works. But, and I know they increased the cap of how many customers you can have per day. Because it's, it's really hard to make a profit when you have a limited number of people coming in and you've got all these overhead fees. So, that's kind of cool. 
Um, mostly bug fixes, but auto save something else. Yeah. The the the, the, the tills and the and the the cap on customers are the big ticket items for me. Um, hooray for naturopathic doctors! Yay! Oh, that's awesome. Talking about Super's Market Sim to my brother-in-law, and now he has me hooked on Power Washer Simulator. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's another game I've always wanted to try. I feel like I would like it. I saw Kulu playing House Slipper the other week. And I was kind of watching him like, I think I would like this. I might have to play it at some point. I do, I do have a key for it. Hmm. Yeah, at some point. It means you can tell customers not to go to a certain till. Oh, oh, like you can you can open or close them. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well I guess the big thing is the the customer cap increasing. That's really that's really handy. Hopefully, reduce the gauche cashier issue. Is that like when? They tend to go to certain ones, but they don't really go to the other one as much. Because there's like a... They don't evenly disperse the, the customers to all the tills. I've noticed. I believe you can close your register so if you're stuck and they won't go to your line. Oh. But that's how, that's how I got... Uh, I did that on purpose. <laughs> to get... You know how you have to get like... Was it 1750 customers served at a till? I fired all my cashiers except for one, and I had three other tills open, and I just kept them open while I was doing stuff, and then it, when they were when the lineups are full, I'd serve a bunch of people at once. And I, I would just jump between the tills as they were fuller. It's way faster than just standing there all day like, Hello, customers? Hello? Power wash is super relaxing. It's fat satisfying. Yeah. My sister played it for like two years before she finally wore me down. Got me hooked on it. 300 hours? Wow. <laughs> Addiction. So the, the boards look like they're evenly dispersed. I don't know. I guess we haven't served that many cheese boards today. It really depends if someone orders a bunch of one or the other. If you had two tills placed in a certain manner, one cashier would service both tills for some reason. Really? Oh. Oh, that that explains it. Because I would always have that one guy in my back corner not really helping any customers. <laughs> so clever, definitely doing that. Yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> Because then you can focus on restocking your storage room while the customers accumulate, and and your 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 cashier can handle some of the lineup, so it doesn't get too crazy. But yeah, eventually they are gonna uh, make an update. So I, I I've heard they might be making an update so the customers get mad if you don't serve them fast enough. So. I don't know how long that strategy will be viable for. We'll see. Welcome, Red Boy. The Stock Boys were revolutionary to me. Me too. The first episode I got them on, it was super laggy. And I I, I, I could barely play. <laughs> but there was like a there was a there was a lag issue with the um the racks in the stock room. And then they fixed that and it, it just it, w it worked like a dream after that. Yeah, that was nice. Okay, you got an, um, 135 seconds, just over two minutes to serve one more group here. No, not that one. I guess that I don't really need this bin here. That's something to think about. I don't know what I would put there instead. I could put the breadboards there. Maybe have the bin in the back. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I could always have the bin up here. No, this is where the cherry goes. Okay, how's the soup? Uh, meat soup's cooking. It's always meat soup. Why are you the problem? Why are you being a problem? Why are you like this? Okay, it's all fine. Have a good day. Bye. 
53 customers. 54. Oh! We got it! It's chips time! Oh my god, I peeked there. Wow. <laughs> Oh, la, 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 la. Welcome, Glenn. Everyone, yep, it's the last side. 54 to fit 46. Wow. Okay, so I... I am a cons... And you know, I don't even really need to research. So I could just have that there. Honestly, we're done with research. Should have lots of grabbers, I think. Yeah, because every I, I only have um the last thing we're automating is the cherry pie, and then after that we're done with research. I've got lots of grabbers. I got a smart grabber. I got I know I have an extra safety hub and a combiner here. No, that's for the that's for the sink. Never mind. I have a safety hub here. <laughs> Everything else is being used. Um, we got we got preps to go here. It's ready. We just need the cherry. Um. And I suppose, I suppose for cherry pie, we just use a, a regular mixer, which is fine. And coffee tables, that's right. That's what we were looking for. Um, I do have a grabber up top by the apples. At this point, you could probably set up for cherry pie and just put cherries in when you get them. True, that's true. On the other hand, one thing I was thinking of when I do automate cherry pie is I'm going to have all these extra blueprints. I might re-roll those to see if I can get any coffee tables to dupe. So, because um, if we get individual dining, I'll be able to put coffee tables in a lot of spaces in between my tables here. And I'm, I'm praying we get individual dining. <laughs> I'm praying. We're, yeah, well, individual. Assuming you get individual dining, you can have coffee tables. You know, in quite a few places, like here, 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 and even here and here. No, not there. Um, no. Anyway, <laughs> quite a few, quite a few. Welcome, Cobalt. Hurrah, welcome, Moon. Hurrah. Okay. All right. Uh, we got the boards. Honestly, I might just um, might just have them there, because then I can I can feed them in right away. Because I don't really have anything going on in the morning. I should be able to walk here. Yep. New predictions up. Thank you, Kokoro. All right, and we go. Hello? I'm just gonna feed all of these in. Is that even enough? Uh, no, it's uh, technically not. Hmm. Well, well, hmm. Probably wouldn't mind another one if we see it.
The big question is, what's our next food choice? Is it going to be ice cream or um, cherry pies? I think ice cream's got to go here. Ice cream, Trace and ice cream. And then maybe we'll just have the boards like way in the back and I'll just bring them out in the morning. Oh, whoops, I forgot. Um, there you go. There's quite a few people coming in. Like two, wow. Hi friends. There you go. Have a good night, bye. Trying to get to the point of automating some dishes. Overtime six, but didn't quite have enough grabbers. Yeah, it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to get like your copying desk and your blueprint cabinets duping fast enough. Sometimes it's faster than others. Sometimes you're just broke. Wait, did you use your grabbers for anything else yet? Sometimes I don't even have my my desks already till overtime. Place the combiner above the olives with ice cream so the boards don't have to go too far up. Combiner above the olives. What is that combiner doing there? It doesn't even do anything. <laughs> I didn't even realize I had that. Oh, you know what? That's great because I actually wanted a combiner for something. When there's no customers yet, so the the boards don't have to go up too far. We put the, with ice cream, yeah, yeah. But I can't run in there. I would. I'm glad you brought that to my attention, because <laughs> I need. I I was trying to set stuff up, and I'm like, oh man, I don't have enough combiners for this thing I wanted to do with the oranges, but now I do. And that's exciting. Customers went all the way. Bye bye, customers. Goodbye. It's okay, they'll come back. They'll come back with their friends. And that's good, I can use that rapid mixer for something else. <laughs> You'll see. You'll all see my plan. 
I don't think you can walk between the true and olives. I can look at it. I don't think you can, unfortunately. I wish. You might be able to fit between olives and a grabber. I don't know if you can fit between the teleporter and a grabber. I think they've got different hitbox. Maybe they don't. I can't remember. Time to find out. Welcome, Wing. Can you, can you fit more things in it? I've got one more thing to be installed. We are going to do cherry pies top left. And, that, and then we have all the foods. Also, welcome, Seasang. even blue. Ew, Kuwu. No, Kuwu, no. You can't order that. No. Welcome, Kindred. <laughs> Goodbye, Kuwu. Goodbye, Kuwu's friend, Kate. Goodbye. La, 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 la. Welcome, Future Endeavor. <laughs> How are the boards, though? I don't know how many cheese boards we serve, but we have enough. Is there a, mo a record of most OT days done? Oh yeah, like some person did. They did. Was it in? Gosh, what was it? I think it was a lake run. It was a lake run? It was like OT 1100 or something? It was crazy. But this is definitely up there for me. <laughs> My highest one would be OT 144. And that was on an autumn run I did. Last summer. So, maybe one of these days I'll have to try a run like that again. On a slightly bigger map. Because it was a custom map. But that person, they did it on a vanilla map. It was nuts. Welcome, Curid. How are you? Welcome, Linkery. How are you? Is there a video of that? Yes, there is. If you go to my YouTube, I had a whole uh, playlist of it. What was it called? Um. Oh gosh, I can't remember. What was it called? Uh... I can't remember. Ah, <laughs> uh, what was it called? Um... We talked about this, like, a month ago. Hmm. You don't think you've hit OT10? You got this, Aaron. I believe in you. What's your preferred controller? Um, Logitech. Just, uh, I just, I love how it feels. It's great.
I shall listen. I think that's that sounds right. That sounds right. I shall listen. There's a whole playlist of it on my YouTube. That was fun. <laughs> I learned how to burn water in a microwave. Xbox 360, nice. Any franchise, all the boots available on Switch. Oh, nicely done. Logitech controller, yes. have enough boards to get us through the rest of the day. But ideally one more stack of boards would keep everything stocked up. Welcome, King Dusk. Come on, Tootie, help me. I woke up at 9 a.m. and then I took a nap. It's almost 9 p.m. Uh, good, good morning. <laughs> so, you took a nap that lasted 12 hours? <laughs> Did you play nap roulette? <laughs> Is nap roulette when you take a nap and you hope you wake up at a certain, a good time? When you don't set an alarm, you don't know if you slept for three or three, 30 minutes or three hours. Oh, gotcha. I did that today. I only slept for 20 minutes though. Sometimes it's nice just to shut your eyes off for a little bit. Take a break from the screens. Just relax. It's really refreshing. Went to sleep for the night, woke up an hour and a half later, so now I know where the rest of those sleeps went. Oh. What whoa. <laughs> Welcome Windfighter. It was a good sleep, gonna be up for the night. Hey, guess what? I'm gonna be up for the night too. Yay! Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I got I gotta hit overtime hundred. And that's probably going to be like an hour and a half plus from now. <laughs> Just based on our pacing. Can you still hear the music? Yeah, I can. I, I still like it. I still like the music. It's fun. I, it, I generally don't get sick of soundtracks. Even if I played it over and over and over again. The nice thing with the played up soundtrack is there's just, there's enough different songs in it so then I don't get sick of one like they, they, they cycle them through well enough oh that's our last table I think pumpkin seeds our soups are all in the freezers but if they order more soup I'm gonna have to wait looks like we're gonna have to wait Gosh darn it. Fried chicken bites? Mm -mm -mm. Good. 
good? Okay. Oh, they want dessert. Okay. All right. All righty. I have a rule for naps. Quick one, 20 to 30 minutes. I can doze on the sofa. We need longer. Lay in the bed on top of the duvet under, a, but under a blanket set a timer. Any longer than that, you'll sleep drunk sick after. Oh no. Well, that's good that you can set <laughs> boundaries for yourself. Sometimes when I need a nap, it's just kind of like, I don't know how long it's going to take to fall asleep. So, you know, if it happens, it happens. And that's okay. <laughs> the played up music is pretty well done for being listenable forever. Right? The, the person who composed it is so good. Like, they got a good style. I love it. It's very cute. Someone told me there was one 30 second loop and played up. I would believe it. I had no idea there were multiple songs. Oh, there's a bunch. There's like... I don't know how many songs there are. Like eight? I would say about eight? I'm not sure. I have had the Has Been soundtrack on repeat since the last episode of the season came out. So let me call it a problem. No, that just means you appreciate it. <laughs> That's fine. Welcome Fiddler. I find I sleep better if my kitty drains me. Oh, <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, She's a cuddle bug. Aww. It's interesting how, like, as kids, a lot of kids like sleeping with their stuffies, right? Because it's comfortable. It's comfortable to, like, have a little, have a little animal cuddling with you. They're just little teddy bears that live. They're living, breathing teddy bears. Aww. Who can leave when they want to. <laughs> Dang it. My dog never really liked sleeping in the bed with us. <laughs> She'd jump up and, like, lick our faces to wake us up but she wouldn't really whenever my parents um were like out for the night or like on a trip i would have the dog on my bed with me while i was sleeping and she'd like jump off the bed half an hour later and like whine to go out it's like whine to leave my room it's like no we're not doing this she'd rather sleep in her kennel that's fine i had to get really strict rules on sleep after years of horrific insomnia, depression, and night shift, oh my gosh, yeah, it's sleep is such a it's a battle. Like, and what works for one person doesn't work for everyone. Oh my gosh, it's definitely something I've gotten better with as I get older, and like just kind of more responsible, but also just like less anxious. But oh man. <laughs> Insomnia is not fun. When smothered by my cat. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, we keep going. Need two leg pillows, a cuddle pillow or two head pillow and a wedge pillow. Dang, <laughs> that's a lot of pillows. <laughs> Sometimes people have like a bunch of pillows. I only just like, I like one. One is fine. Oh yeah, that's definitely a tootie talk. Okay, we're going, I'm sorry. <laughs> move, move, move. I forgot to move the boards. Oh well. We'll do that later. Well... Oh! Hang on, I forgot about my combiner. Hang on. I, I did have one thing I wanted to fix. Don't, don't, don't count the don't, don't, don't worry about the prediction. Just leave it, just leave it. I just have one thing. I forgot. The day was so long, I forgot to fix it. Hee <laughs> hee. And then it was the boards. No, they're, they're okay there for now. Okay. Just gonna get my shoes. And we keep going. And going and going and going. So the only things I might like more of are boards. And, um... Coffee tables. Four pillows, but two are for cats. Aww. Elbow braces. Okay. 
can't convince Sleep Swan to keep them on. <laughs> Do you try to wear them before you sleep? Or did you just give up on them? Now look at this. We get fours and two. Oh, fours and twos. You put them on every night? Good for you. The princess and the pea with all your pillows. <laughs> Cute. lose my tree stand like that. Did you order another one? Oh my gosh. Sleep swan really likes to bend her elbows and rips them off so she can't- yeah. Welcome Dust Angel, how are you? Distracted? Well, I did get distracted because I completely forgot the thing I wanted to do, so yes. We can also call that. <sighs> Asking for a friend? Is your friend Hannah Louise too? <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> Potato apple. One of these days it'll ramp up. I, I know it. I just know it. I just know it. It's gonna get so crazy. Our next card is not today, but tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I could put a phone right here. Or anywhere, honestly. I don't know how you can see the toppings. Well, it is a little bit easier to see it on my screen. Um, depending on what you're watching on, it's probably not as clear. Colorblind mode? Yeah, but like I've been doing these for so long. Like I just, I can eyeball it. I know, I want to know exactly what it is right away. Welcome, male pale. Yeah, yet we're still going. Overtime 100, let's go. All aboard the Overtime 100 train. Choo choo, choo choo. It's cherry pie. Cherry pie and ice cream are the last food cards I'm waiting for. So we might get all the food cards before Overtime 100. It. But if individual dining shows up, I want that card first. Then I don't have to choose medium groups. Welcome, Brandy. Her. La 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 There are no sides left. We finally got chips today. We got all the sides. We've got all the starters we're just missing two desserts cherry pie and ice cream so that was a two and a pumpkin seed I only got chips today. I only got chips today. It was one of those ones where I'm like, where the heck is it? It took it took its sweet, sweet time, that's for sure.
It's so chill right now. Give it a few days. It'll ramp up. Full call, let's go. Yo, you got any phones? You got any booking desks? I don't have one. <laughs> If I had a phone, I would full call and deal with closing time. Because <laughs> it wouldn't be that bad. Not right now. Unfortunately, I don't have him. <sighs> bring, bring, easy. Yeah. You seem to be missing something important, though. We don't have a phone. It's gone. That is an apple salad. Welcome, jacket. I already played up newbie. How do you fit more food preparation when you get more f cards? Um, just practicing like spatial um, organization. I had to spend some time off stream organizing it so everything would fit. And like the more you play, the more you automate the different dishes, and then you can you can kind of start eyeballing like what do I need for this how much space am I gonna need for this honestly this map is just barely big enough for everything but essentially just just practicing automating everything in in whatever runs you do squeezing super tight yep there's a lot of there's a lot of spaces where actually there's not a lot of spaces it's almost almost every space has like actual automation in it. There's some cabinet spots. Gaps. There are also helplines on the efficiently Yeah, the Elsie guide. My friend Elsie has a website that teaches people how to automate stuff in Play Up. I definitely recommend checking that out. I referred to it quite a bench a, a bit a bench a bunch while while doing this run. There's some things I'm still getting the hang of automating. Most of them I'm pretty good with, though. Pumpkin pie. Ew, gross. A few sacrifices, yeah. Was that bait? Um... I don't think I don't think the question about how to organize automation was a bingo bait. Another comment might have been bingo bait, but it was related. <laughs> That's fine. Your map here? Oh, wait. Do you want do you want to know how to make a bigger map like this? There's um I use a mod called Kitchen Designer and there's a code if you generate maps on the website, you can use the code in the Kitchen Designer uh, mod and make the bigger maps in your game. And if you want the code for this map, it's in my it's in my Discord in the modded seed share section. No pixels, no. <laughs> I don't have any codes like that. <laughs> no. It's only modded codes. No. That's false advertising. Ah. No problem, jacket. Enjoy. No pixels, no. <laughs> that code's not gonna do anything. <laughs> don't, don't, don't try it. <laughs> oh man. Welcome, Felms. Welcome, Crisco. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Visual, yep. It's. Yeah, Ontario's got a lot of automation videos as well. Ice cream needs... Yeah, ice cream's gonna go up here. Mm 
And then cherry pie will go top left. Yay! Welcome to Keys. <laughs> Nuclear power, power plant simulator only blew up once. Wait, what's the what's the game called? <laughs> only only blew up once, Mom. Good job, Phelps. I'm proud of you. Nucle Nuclears? Oh. Is that a new game? I've never heard of that one. Once is all it takes. Apparently not. Thelma's got another chance. Remember the early days of a uh, played up when super automation restaurants didn't have drag and drop? Yep. And uh, I, had a, I had a big restaurant at one time. And I had all this stuff and uh, films helped me, like he helped me redesign my restaurant and make it more efficient. And then him and Crispy came in and helped move everything. <laughs> it took us like, gosh, I want to say three hours. It took a while. That was crazy. <laughs> At the time I had no idea. I did not understand the automation. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny to go back and watch that now that I do understand. Dragon drop on the Switch version? Yeah, how would that work? I wonder how... I don't know if they're ever going to add Dragon Drop to the vanilla game. The computer part. The worst part is the soup had a big issue. Crispy had to fix it on the fly. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> You see, I didn't even understand what was going on back then. I don't even think I knew how soup loops worked. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. I'll just bring you guys grabbers, I guess. <laughs> I felt like an apprentice. a lake map, right? Because I had all these different foods being- I had pies, I think they were burgers. No, it was an- I think it was an autumn map. I had a big table. Oh my gosh. I think it would be fun to do another run like that with a bigger- a bit bigger map. More room to automate. Yay! Follow jacket thief, huh? Did you get it working? What about an autumn turbo run? Oh, I don't think that's a good idea, guys. I don't think that's possible. I can try it. I don't think I'm gonna live that long. <laughs> it depends what the cards are. Like, you know how medium groups doesn't really scale? I don't think the big groups in Autumn would scale. I don't know how that would work. Because I might have like 10 groups of 7 people coming in. Or 6. That sounds terrifying. I don't know, man. Playing salads and plate up right now. Colorblind letters are above the salads. It's a mod. Yeah, that's Colorblind Plus. I kind of wish I had that one on. I used to have that one installed more. But I, I remember there was an update that came out at one point and it made it made it very buggy. And I just never had it installed since. I'm sure it's fine now. This goes back to the tree stand memes. What's the tree stand memes? What? Sounds like a 2D challenge, yeah. 
vegging on the couch nice. Yeah, no rush, no rush. And if you have problems with it, um, you can always ask in the Discord, or the, the Played Up Discord, there's lots of people helping in there too. Welcome, Lee Hang. First part is the soup had a big. No, I already read that. Um. Each big update made an item really useful. The one Halloween update was a trash update. The autumn update was a tree stand update. Oh! When was the clipboard introduced? Was it with the bakery? I think it's a bakery one. I can't remember. It's all a blur. How's the soups? They're fine. So all the soups are in the freezers. We're ready to go. Yeah, the boards are doing fine. There's mostly enough, usually. Mm -hmm. And then today's a card day. I didn't want to change anything. So we keep going. It's 96. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 47 customers. That's just not a lot yet. Hmm. No, Tootie, no. New prediction. Thank you, Kokoro. How rich you'd be if you sold sides, yeah. Like a thousand dollars richer, right? <laughs> Probably like ten thousand more. Maybe more than that. I'm not really sure. Cause like a lot of the food I'm selling isn't even mains. A lot of starters, some desserts. Hmm. I don't know. Mods are fired. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and jelly spoons? I, I misread that. Remember to thank your mods in the ring. Yep. That's right, that's right. Thank you, mods. Appreciate you. Come on, Gigi Shevik. All the mods 2D has installed. Oh. <laughs> and the moderators. <laughs> yeah, they're great. All of them. All the all the mods are great. The played up mods, the moderators, the potatoes, the moder teeters. <gasps> I should call them moder teeters. Thank you, moder teeters. <laughs> I think I'm gonna change them. In my Discord, they're called the side dishers. I think we're gonna call them the modern teachers. Unless that sounds funny, then let me know. <laughs> Kokoro likes it. <laughs> Sign up to be a modern teacher today. Do, 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 do. No. Gross. They should be the sous chefs. Yeah, that would also work. Oh, whoops. They want to be a server. I'm curious how you would do this automation without mods. Um, 
but there is not room in a regular restaurant for all of this. <laughs> You'd have to be doing more of this by hand. And you probably wouldn't survive long enough to do it. I can't imagine doing this by hand. I mean, at this rate, I could probably handle it. Once it picks up, no. Certainly not. Onion. Potato. Definitely a marathon. <laughs> I feel like we keep being promised a flood of customers and yet to be so pro that a sweat hasn't even been broken. Well, when we had we had a point where we had like 200 customers per day and I almost lost. Like it was getting stressful. Then we started getting soups, and that's reduced the customers a lot. And then we got apple pies, and that reduced them even more. And then we just keep getting these food add-ons, and it just keeps reducing customers faster than they grow. So, but we've only got two more reduction cards left. I don't think there's any other reduction cards besides ice cream and cherry. Because we've got all you can eat, we got double helpings. I don't think they're at least really eating. Well, that's a that's not a good one. <laughs> that barely counts as a reduction card. Reduction in customer, increase in stress. <laughs> but I assure you, in like a few days after we start, get our last food card, it's gonna start ramping up. Cause there's not gonna be any food cards to offset it. I used to be scared about not having enough space for everything in this restaurant. Now I'm scared about getting swam swarmed, swamped, getting swarmed. Getting food cards later on in a run has a bigger impact. Yes, yes. I like that chips card was an easy one. I didn't even have to do anything for it. We're all ready for it. Twenty eight hours of my life. Oh my gosh. Would you consider spawning in a booking desk? No. I haven't spawned anything in this mm, this game, so... I don't really want to do that now. It's okay. We just gotta wait a few more days. It'll be fun. I promise. Welcome, Lucy Lou. <laughs> Everything's fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Pumpkin seeds. Potato. Hello.
Hello? <laughs> Oranges, hello, you there? Welcome crazy, huh? This setup is awesome. Just say we're trying to figure out what, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stuff. But we've got a uh, tomato soup up top, pumpkin seeds up above that, pumpkin soup beside that. All the salad stuff's in the center. There's oranges here. Uh, top right is carrot soup. Um, mid right is bread, breadboards. Then there's pumpkin pies below that, apple pies. Cheese boards above that, meat soup to the left of this. And the broccoli cheese soup bottom left. That's about everything. <laughs> Definitely gonna watch the other streams back to watch this being built up. Noise. <laughs> I've also got it on the YouTube channel if you want to watch it there. I've got I've got a playlist for it on there if that if that's easier for you. Either way works. And like I've I, I've highlighted it. I've got highlights for it on my on my Twitch too. I think people, people it's just easier to find the runs on on the YouTube channel. And Twitch is just kind of like all mushed together so it's not not as easy to organize Okay, so it's currently two in the morning. Really catch the live streams. We're always watching them in the morning. Nice. Aw, thank you, Lulu. Appreciate it. Enjoy. Yeah, I'm glad I've been. I'm glad I've been pretty good with uploading my friends to YouTube. Cause they're like, it's easier to look back and find them. <laughs> know if I have highlights of some of the runs. Maybe. I don't know if I have highlights for those uh, I Shall Listen runs. I can't remember when I started using the highlighting function. I didn't even know it was a thing until I started speedrunning. That's why I love the YouTubes. Went through a phase where just been watching the challenge runs. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I've got a whole playlist for that too. Hope you're not burning out. No, 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 no. 
the, the cool thing with Plate Up, there's so much stuff that I want to do. For me, the time, the thing is time. It's just like, oh man, I want to do turbos. Oh man, I want to automate. Like, it's just kind of, there's so much stuff I want to do. My YouTube schedule? Well, it's, it's pretty much just reposting what I streamed. <laughs> Over my insane contest schedule? Well, I mean, the thing is, like... If I don't stream as much, the YouTube slows down, right? So... And sometimes I don't have stuff. But usually I have... Lots of played up every day. I almost- I stream almost every day. So, usually there's something on the YouTube every day. And it's been fun doing other games on the side, too. But yeah, I'm currently on spring break, so the YouTube videos are probably going to slow down a little bit once I'm back to work, because I won't be able to stay up as late as I have been. <laughs> I've just been enjoying it while I can. And the, ni the nice thing with the YouTube stuff is, like, it only takes a couple of minutes to, like, uh, chop up a, a Twitch VOD. And I just export it straight to YouTube. I don't even- I don't edit it or anything. I just kind of make sure it's the chunk of the run. Which doesn't take very long. Then you just add a thumbnail to it. Kaboom! Easy. I've definitely made it a... I've definitely finessed the process over the years. <laughs> Year and a half. Almost two years. God, almost getting close to two years, that's for sure. Do you sustain financially? Well, um, I do have, I do have a, I work in schools. So we're in spring break right now, but um, so that's my main income. Twitch and Twitch and YouTube are just—it's like a side job. It's a side job that I really enjoy. <laughs> so it's just—it's just a bonus. I can almost live off my Twitch and YouTube income, but it, it would be really tight. It would be really stressful. Yeah. Like in the summer, I can because it's only two months off. Which is fine. So it's kind of like a summer job. <laughs> In the summer, I streamed really long hours. But it was fun. Sort of, yeah, so. <gasps> is the soup okay? Ooh. <gasps> it's cherry pie time. <laughs> it's cherry pie time. Um. Oh my god, I, I didn't even realize I was done that customer. And I saw something moving. I thought I thought the pot didn't make it. Oh my gosh, my heart. Uh, starting to automate on my own plate of maps, but to this extent, it takes a while. You can do it though. You'll get it. Honestly, this is new to me too. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna move all these out. Um. Oh gosh. Time has come. I know approximately what I want to do here. I just gotta. Sort out a couple little details. So I know I want... Gosh, where did it go? The frozen prep for pies is gonna be right here. And we gotta... I don't think I had an extra combiner anywhere. I think they're all being used. So we need one more. That's a sink. We're gonna have to combine cherry onto here. I know there was a grabber here. And that doesn't need to be a smart, it shouldn't, yeah, no, it does not have to be a smart grabber because we're gonna have two safety hobs. Hopefully there's space for this. 
I know I have a flower somewhere. Is that safety hub? I might have to I might have to move that. I don't know about that yet. Um any more grabbers that weren't being used? I think they're all being used. Every single one. <laughs> I should have looked at that. That's fine. So we'll par bake it, add the add the crest. And then I've got um I know I have this rapid mixer. And where was that flower? I've actually got room for things. Ideally, we can put boards here and here, and then ice cream goes there. Where's the flower? I think it's this one. Goodbye blueprints, goodbye desk, goodbye everything. I'm gonna practice, make sure it works. The worry about Twitch, YouTube being a job is just so variable and predictable, very saturated. Yeah. And like, like, I've got my job, you know, so like, even if all the Twitch YouTube stuff goes under, I've got that, right? And, but like, if I lost my only job, if, if Twitch or YouTube was my only job and I lost that, would be devastating. I yeah, so I just I'd rather keep my day job and then you know stream more in the summer on my holidays. I'm fine with that. And I I've made it such a habit. I come home from work, have dinner, and then I stream. And that's just that's just what I do. That's just what I like to do. It's fun. This is such a cool game. <laughs> and oh, okay, okay. All right, so the pies look good. We are done automating. That's it. Yeah, extra money is a bonus. Exactly, yeah. So. Interesting to add to the resume, explain interviews for new jobs. Um, well, I mean, I've been working in a school district for like three, three years? Three years. So, before, I didn't stream until like, I was a year into working there. So I just, they have no clue and I don't want them to know because <laughs> that'd be so weird if I met a kid and they're like, oh, you're a streamer. That'd be so weird. <laughs> so I, it's just, it's just like my, it's not really, it's not a deep, dark secret, but it's just not something I want my employers to be aware of because this is my me time. This is my, this is my, I'm a potato time and it's like really... I'm fine keeping that separate. I'm fine with my friends and family knowing I stream. Um, but I don't, I want to keep that very separate from my work. <laughs> That'd be so awkward. Um, 18 years ago I started my career, which was my hobby. The good part is I love my job for many years. The bad part is it's no longer my hobby. Oh yeah. Like you could kind of, it's kind of rough when your, your hobby becomes like something you have to spend so much time in and work on, right? And then you're just like, ugh. And I, I, I feel that way about this sometimes. And I do take days off. Sometimes I'm just like, no, I'm fine. I want a nap. I just, I don't know. I don't know what I, you know, I just, I just want to hang out. But, um. Turn the carrot soup. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I'd rather them be like, turn like this. So then you can see all the numbers. Um, like, yeah, I. I wouldn't say I've ever experienced like super burnout from streaming, 
but like you know sometimes i just need a day off and that's fine but i usually i always come back to it it's it's because it's most of the time it's fun and it's a good experience so like i have a good time so like as long as you're having fun it's fine when it starts becoming a, a grind it's like okay i need to i need to step back and reevaluate <laughs> but thankfully Most of the time, I'm I'm happy with the amount of effort I put into it, and like the time I have to do other things I want to do in my life. So, I have a I've found a pretty good balance between work, streaming, and everything else. Yeah, it's different when someone tells you to do your hobby, right? <laughs> well, I mean, you guys are cool because like if I didn't do the, the streaming one day, you'd be like, oh, she's just taking a day off. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> You understand. <laughs> now if you stop, we call Ken and make them yell at you. <laughs> like when I come home from work, you're starting streaming. Yay! <laughs> Gaming your free time with hundreds of fun. Exactly! It's kind of like, dude, this is a cool hobby. I just play this game, people watch me? Okay, cool. Because like for me, um, with Played Up, there's just so much, there's so many things I want to do, right? Like... There's so many different mods I want to try. There's so many different things I want to do. It's like people enjoy watching it and it's like fun having you guys be here. That's awesome. <laughs> like uh, you guys, you guys make played up even more enjoyable than it is. Like, um, like I would be happy playing it by myself, but it's cool. It's really cool having everyone here. And it's definitely, I don't play much played up off stream. I, I do like the group activity part of it, <laughs> even when it's just me playing solo. Glad you enjoyed it because I enjoyed your streams. Yay! Aw, thank you, El Pale. You're very sweet. Rough on you, a you EU time zone? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I like playing played up with different people. Because different people bring different things to the game. And it's just, it's just fun. Just fun. Same game, different people. Different foods. Different game. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Welcome, popcorn. <laughs> All right, we got cherry pie automated. Now it's time to um, have an ad break. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to use the bathroom during the ad break, and then we'll come back. Burb. I used to moderate for a streamer, and it was his job, but some people went ballistic if he canceled streams because he was sick or took a couple weeks out to vacation with his family. That's nuts. It's just kind of like... Yeah, I can't imagine that. Normally when I take off days, I get people messaging me like, Dude, Tootie, you stream every day. Are you okay? <laughs> Something must be really wrong. <laughs> and I'm like, it's okay, I just wanted a nap. <laughs> but uh, I think it's worth that a lot of your friends that you play on stream with are such brilliant personalities so that it doesn't feel like they're guests on stream. Yeah, 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 for sure. And like, definitely the people I play with regularly, like, it's, 
it's so cool that like we can regularly play together and it's just we're grooved into it and it's just a game we can always pick up and come back to and just you know it's I love it yeah I love it I've made some really amazing friends through played up and I'm really glad it's awesome yeah okay anyway now we're gonna make amazing automation we have automated all the foods except for ice cream because that's impossible so what we're gonna do I need to keep the heated mixer and the composter bin I'm gonna keep blueprints that are duped already no we're gonna reroll uh you see I do have one copy desk where is it we can slowly There's two spots here. Is there a way to organize this so I can get... Make use of two spots there? Wait. No. I don't think so. Um... I don't think so. No. Should you can be really a thank you bear. You too. You're awesome. Watching you play played up has become one of my cover. Aw, thank you, Lucy. You guys are so sweet. What am I gonna free fit? Oh, there's a couple of gaps where cabinets can go. But what I really wanna do is see if we can re-roll for a copy desk. Uh, sorry, a coffee table. So then I can dupe it and then there's quite a few spots. Because even if we get simplicity, honestly, a coffee table is the only thing I really want to re-roll for. I don't need anything else, right? Like, if I got... I don't... I, I can't think of anything I would want to re-roll for. Like, are there any cards where something might help me? I'm prepared for picky eaters. I've got all the food. We've got lots of bins. I can't, I can't think of anything. I just need these two guys. Why the coffee table? Because I've, if we get individual dining, I'm going to want some coffee tables in between the tables. I'm hoping we get individual dining. <laughs> if I see individual dining, we got to take it. Now we're super mean. Yeah, especially you, Swandis. Just kidding. <laughs> booking. I don't think you can re-roll for a booking desk. I don't, I don't remember. Um... It definitely shows up in the store, but I mean, if we see one, sure. I want a coffee table, though. I feel so wrong throwing out all my automation stuff. This ain't right, guys. This hurts. What if you get larger groups? I'm not taking that card. <laughs> I refuse to take that card. That's what, that's what happens if we get larger groups. We don't take it. We cannot take it. Be hoarding. Don't look, guys. What did we just get? We just got cherry pies. So we're, the, we're only waiting on ice cream now. Oh, there's some grabbers here. Um, I'm just gonna put some cabinets there for a second. Any more cabinets with blueprint in them? No? Oh, here's some. I... The hoarding's a little traumatic. Don't look, don't look, don't look at it. Okay, so hopefully we're just gonna roll. We have so much money. We're gonna roll and see if we can get a... Oh yeah, I, for I always forget you can look out there. We're going to roll it and see if we can get a coffee table. And then we'll dupe it. Buy potatoes? Oh. Uh, no, these are... I'm. So this is a composter bin. And this is a heated mixer. I'm going to need those when we get um, uh, picky eaters. I'm intentionally keeping those in there. Welcome, burger. <laughs> Not the beautiful conveyors. What? What beautiful conveyors? What do you mean? Oh, a coffee table. <laughs> I was prepared to roll so much. Now, I can just roll a bit more. We can make mayo more compact. Um, 
I don't think there's a need to because it's fast enough for right now. I haven't had any issues with mayo. Um, it's fast enough and it seems to be... I don't need the space for anything because I've, I've automated everything. We're just waiting on ice cream and then we got all the food cards. Kimmy. Oh, there was a zoomie. Could have bought that. Oh, another coffee table. <laughs> what is this? I don't want anything else, right? No. Kimmy. I want like one, two, three, four coffee tables. Five. I think it can fit five total. So. A booking desk? Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh. Okay. Well, we can get another one. Hit me. I, where was it? Oh, I, oh, here. I've got one. I got one. I got one. We got it. We got it. Where Where can this go? Um. Sure. <laughs> that works. It's fast, but it's too big just in case you need more space. Thankfully, I don't need the space, but thank you. Oh, another board stack. Oh, I need that. Maybe not yet, but like later. Is there a spot for another cab by Olives? Olives. Yes. Yes. And actually, I'm just going to put that there so that I can reach the boards. Yep. And then I can feed all the boards into the system and it's fine. Welcome Kiran, welcome Milo, Milo, we're doing it. <gasps> hey guys, potato, can I buy the potatoes? Please, 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 please. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the potatoes for good luck. Um, another coffee table. Oh, there's metal tables right in there. Oh my god, I didn't really realize there was stuff in there. What else do I want? I don't know, maybe more zoomies. Yeah, sure, why not? Um... What's that? Compactor bin? Sure. Floor protector? I don't know. Okay. Well. Time to throw out all the cabinets. We've done it, folks. Do I want to throw out that research desk? I might actually regret that. So we got the research desk and copy desk just in case. For some reason. There's a spot for potatoes above the apples for- Oh yeah, I, I put the desk there. We'll just keep it in the cabinet for good luck. We got a desk. We got a booking desk. This is great. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are all the cabinets filled up? There's a, oh, there's a spot for a cabinet here. Ew, broccoli, gross. <laughs> Research desk. There's a spot on the seed portion. Oh, thank you. There's a spot above it. That one. I think I think I found it. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, this is this is so sad. This is sad, guys. Let's do practice. Thank you, popcorn. Fix the tables? Fix the tables? Um like the cabinets? Oh, did I mess up the I think I must have messed up the chairs. That's fine. I'll fix that in a second. We're just doing a practice. So we copy that. We go get our tray stand. We feed these in over time. It's gonna be harder later on. I don't know if there's a way to do that. I don't know if there is. Anyway, um, fairy <laughs> pies are happening. That by door is empty. Oh, hey! How's everything looking? We do full call? Yeah, sure. I did it. On my shoes. Cool. 
Hmm? I'm so rich from doing full call, totally worth it. Wait a minute, how much did I make from that? I don't think you make money from a call in, in um, practice mode. I mean, it, it wouldn't count anyway. 59, that's it? Hello? I'm waiting for them to leave so I can do another call. Oh, I can walk this way. Oh, you can't? Oh. I thought you can once they leave. Do they have to like leave leave? Oh, they're already here. Okay. Does everything look good? I don't think anything broke. I see food everywhere. That's good. Okay. Alright, time to send it and fix fix the chairs and then send it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, fill the cabinet, thank you. I don't think we really need to, but you know, just in case we want to re-roll or something. It's there. And then ice cream's gonna go oh gosh. Um Yeah, we'll we'll sort that out later. Ice cream's gonna go where the board stack is, and then... Hmm, I don't know. I guess I could have... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I never, I never checked to see if I could walk here. New predictions up, new predictions up. That is so time consuming. Can I fit there? If I turn it, I might be able to. We had a question about whether I could or not, and I forgot to check. Is that a bingo bait? Hmm. 41 customers? Wow. I'm gonna be here all day, folks. All day. Pumpkins can be condensed. Um, I had to cram them into the corner. That's a little awkward. But I'm, I'm happy with how it is. It's fine. <laughs> Good enough. I have to automate... I have to pull the pumpkin pieces for the pumpkin pies at the bottom right. I have to teleport it down there. So that's why it looks so funny. Genuine question. Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty, if you say so. Hello. I can't, I can't do that popcorn. I actually need that plate stack. Cause like, if I didn't do that, this might be empty and I might not have enough plates for uh, potato salad. I actually need that many plates in the system. Oh yeah, calling. I forgot we could do that. I'm just so no used to not having the option, you know? Okay, that was a lot of calls. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's raining. Oh boy. What happened? Okay. Hmm, I made a mistake. Um, I got a little happy. Um, here. Okay, apple pie. I got a little trigger happy. Whoops. Oh, 
Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Tony might have called a little bit too much. You guys are like, call, full call. And I'm like, okay. Um. <laughs> it's too much power. Uh. <laughs> anyway. Um. For now, we can have both of these here. This is a little easier for me to move them in. Welcome, Rainbow. <laughs> Oh my god, that was embarrassing. Anyway, OT97, folks. Let's go. Full call, they said. It'll be fine, they said. All your tokens? Oh, rip. Sorry. That's why we need those coffee tables for individual dining. Otherwise, we're in trouble. It was a setup! I've been framed! It was a setup! I'm gonna call like twice. That's probably enough boards, right? You go all in because you have faith? Well, you didn't realize I had the phone at that point, did you? <laughs> Was that before or after I got the phone? Oh no, whoops. You knew I had the phone? Oh. Didn't you realize you're such a maniac? Um, hello? Do you even watch me? <laughs> Do you know who I am? Do you know what I'm capable of? You know how much of a derp I can be? Oh, well, now you know. Learn something every day. Welcome, Pyong Kwan. Hello, hello. scared to call. <laughs> Welcome to Connolly. <laughs> like, handling three tables is fine. Everything's great. This is fine. Why did I call six groups <laughs> with all you can eat and three courses? Oh my gosh. Okay, potato, potato. I'm scared for you and the 12 tokens. Oh no. How many doubters are in the audience now? I wonder I wonder how much it changed. Photographic such a pain? It's okay. You know what's worse? Leisurely eating. Am I right? I'm just glad we get through these days a little bit faster. I didn't realize I was gonna be getting a phone. I'll take photographic over leisurely any day. Oh shoot, I don't need that right now. Um, whoops. Just leave it. Um, whoops. Uh, carrot, tomato. Welcome, Nick. I want nothing more than to tab back out. No, Nick, stay. Please, I insist. It'll be fun. Everything's great. We're over, almost on overtime 100. It's exciting. This is exciting. Picky eaters is the worst. Yeah. Probably the picky eaters. Leisurely eating. I, I don't know. At some point, we're going to have to choose between them. And I'm... I hate them both so much. <laughs> I'm ready for it, but I hate them both. A cluster fluff. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's a good, that's a good, it's like fire truck. <laughs> that stupid fire truck thing kids say. Um, kids these days and the things they say. That's a lot of people. Where'd they all come from? Okay, cherry and pumpkin. No, I don't want that. Put the plate down, Tootie. Put the plate down. The boards look good. I have many PG <laughs> profanity alternatives. I love that. Feel free to share them. <laughs> I love those kinds of things. It's... They're usually really funny. <laughs> Pies are doing great. Welcome, Dawn. Gotta go to sleep. Have a good one, Lucy. Thank you. You'll find out in the morning. Calling six people. SMH. Welcome, Ray. Oh, bingo. Bingo is closing in two minutes. Closing in two minutes. That's an apple salad. Someone wanted it. Okay. I'll take a cup of tea if you're not careful and pink fluffy unicorns. What the what? Dude, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. What? <laughs> what is that supposed to be substituting? GG ZB, well done. Um, we got two cherry pies. Three cherry pies. more the tone. I see. I guess if, if you say it a certain way, it almost sounds like something else. Interesting. Push OT 101. Yeah, go push OT 101. You get anything if you win bingo? At the end of the month, uh, the top five people on the leaderboard get to request a 2D challenge. Bragging rates too. Yeah. The next card day is ninety after after ninety nine. So they'll be finishing ninety nine and then finishing one oh two. I don't want to call anymore. I honestly 12 people for closing time doesn't sound like much but that could kill me <laughs> it's calling a win in bingo one day one day you got this okay maybe we call a little bit more just like two okay that's pretty good okay oh yeah because there's lots of time we got like two minutes before the last Closing time rush actually comes in. Was it was it cherry? Did 
tomato soup, cheese board, pumpkin, a potato, pumpkin pie. Closing the prediction. Bid quickly, bid quickly. Bid quickly, bid quickly. Quickly. Quickerly, quickerly. Hurry, hurry. Go, 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 go. How much can we call? <gasps> oh, that's fine. I don't think we can call anymore. I gotta serve these. I gotta serve everyone coming in before that, that timer stops. Oh. We got the board. Only eight groups left? Yeah, okay, okay. Are the soups okay? Are the soups okay? Yep. This looks very safe. What could kill the rung? Um, closing time. Because it's a lot of people at once. I could it'd probably be fine. I'd rather not deal with closing time. Oh, there's a lot going on. There sure is. Thanks for noticing. Okay, and then we're just gonna keep duping other coffee tables. I had like two cabinets. Three? Here's one. I thought I got a third coffee table and a cabinet. I don't see it. I swear I got three. Why didn't I save it? I got a potato. Oh. Ah. Uh, oh well. Tootie's got this. She panics over nothing. Have you... Have you watched the last five minutes? Hello? <laughs> I think I panicked a lot that one time. Oh, man. That was fun. My clipboard? That's a potato. Silly potato. Traffic jam, traffic jam. Last coffee table near soaking sink. That is. I see it, thank you. for day 90 equivalent of a tier 6 restaurant until you start taking purple cards sure sure why not <laughs> good job bingo mods thank you
No, Kubu, no, you don't get more. No, Kubu, no. Did I finish serving Kubu? Maybe not. I swear I did. Oh, well, that's a lot of people. Wow. It's getting fun. Okay. Uh, this one, that one. This and that. Apple, potato, potato. Potato, potato. I have no potatoes. This is a lot of dishes for us. Wow. Cherry pie, cherry pie. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um, potato, lettuce. We've got a four and two pumpkin pies. They're all gone again. Hmm. It's so much easier to batch process them. It takes so long to rock in. Okay, two pumpkin, two pumpkin seeds. This one, that one, and a bread butt. Bloop soup. A four and a bread butt. Let's see. Lettuce with an apple salad. Apple. Boop, boop, boop. And then you've got everything. What is that? Okay. Um, onion salad with apple. Um, pumpkin seeds with lettuce. Nope. Cherry with a breadboard. Um, cheese board. Thank you for the follow, James. All right. I think we can call a little bit more. Everything salad. Hello? Okay, we need a four and a poop soup. Hello? <laughs> There's no twos. Oh no. Gotta wait for that bin. Gotta grab the twos before the four. Otherwise it takes forever. It takes forever. What is that? Oh my gosh. Um, here. Whoops. That was for the other guy. Uh, there was something about pumpkin seeds. Potato salad. Oh. I can't remember what it was. What was it? It was, uh, oh. Pumpkin seeds. Carrot soup. Apple. Hi. Meat soup. Apple pie. Potato. Everyone's gone. Potato. get there eventually. Holy cheese boards. Holy traffic jam. But you guys want the same thing. I'm so confused. I'm like, I swear. Hmm. Okay, apple salad. Holy traffic jam. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's great. Three calls brings in four groups. Well, one of the groups was almost ready to come anyway. Kind of just, it's fine. Usually it's one call per group. Um, hmm. Whoops. 
need soup. Four. Boop, boop. Onion. Pumpkin seeds. I don't think we're gonna call anymore. Oh, that's a meat soup. Oops. Apple. Okay, and then a potato. So nice, we're flying now. Okay, and then a bread butt. last group. There, I guess there's a little bit more coming in. They're taking their time, that's for sure. How's the soup? Uh, they're all frozen. Nice. If no one else wants to come in, that's fine. You can stay home. It's okay. We're closing early. We're closing up shop early. Have a good night. Bye. Azumi. Okay, and let me dupe that last coffee table. I'll take that. Sure. Okay, guys. Are we gonna get ice cream today? We'll see. We will see. Okay. Um, at least the, the breadboards are doing really well. Like, Getting the extra stack in there really helps. And I just know that as long as it's... I put the extra boards in in the morning, it's fine. I probably don't have to feed so many in. Welcome, Lizzie. Her. It just gives me a little peace of mind and something to do in the morning. Hey. We'll see if that's enough. If I don't have enough, I'll add more in. Should be okay. Maybe it's not. Hmm. If the boards go to the cheese boards first, like the empty ones, then it's not enough. I actually need more. Holy cherry pies, dude. Um. Wow. Where did they go? They went up. Oh, okay, maybe need a few more. It's kind of here, kind of funny. Wait, kind of funny. Hearing a lot of beeps. Yeah. Sometimes you just tune it out and sometimes it's super, like, it sticks out a lot more. It just, it just depends on the day, okay? Tomato. I'm gonna call. Oh, it's raining today. Hmm. Good to know, good to know. The next card is after I finish this day. So every, it's always a multiple of three. Oh my God, me as a customer ordered three gross looking things. Well, you shouldn't have visited because everything on the menu looks pretty gross. <laughs> Not gonna lie, most of it I wouldn't eat. Hmm. 
I'm looking at you, apple pies. Those apple pies look too fluorescent. They're supposed to be, they were originally supposed to, whoops. They were originally supposed to be lemon pies, and then they changed them to apple pies. But they kept the bottle for them for some reason. <laughs> they look so fluorescent. What's the farthest run you've done? Um, OT144. But who knows, maybe this will be the farthest run. You never know. I can't reach the phone because I can't, I can't get there because I'm uncoordinated. That's why it's called let us leave. Yeah, let you leave so I can win. Let me win plate up, you leave. I win, you leave. Thank you. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, ZB? I don't know why they changed it. Would have been kind of fun to make, like, both lemon and apple pies, right? Dude, do I need to call again? Well, wow. oops. Color-wise, yeah. I mean... It'd be kind of fun to have another flavor. Oh boy! More more dessert pies to automate. Yay! Yay! Cherry pie. Or we got this and a four. Apple, potato, apple. Um, uh, waiting on oranges. <laughs> waiting on oranges. There it is. That's a pumpkin seed. Hmm. Um. No, Tootie, no. but I, th I think of an all pie restaurant could be fun. Oh yeah, for sure. It's just hard to get that because um, there's all these other cards you might have to choose instead. You got an overtime without ice cream like BCS? Feels like an achievement is not an achievement. <laughs> without ice cream. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people struggle with ice cream. And then when you feel more comfortable with it, it's a really nice reduction. But yeah. I feel like a lot of runs I get to overtime without ice cream. Too many runs. Needs more ice cream. Look at how colorful everyone is here. I like that. Holy meat soup, dude. Um, oh gosh, was it carrot or pumpkin? Uh, pumpkin seed and bread butt. Bread butt. Apple salad, apple potato. Holy plates, man. These days are so fast now. This is great. Tito salad. We can call a little bit more. Speed runs. Yeah, I mean, ideally in a speed run, you want ice cream. You're not always going to get it. But most of the times on the board, probably got lucky enough to get ice cream in them. <laughs> yeah, ice cream is speedrunner's best friend. You got it. Auto fish restaurant? Uh, I did a turbo one. 
Probably like a month ago. That was fun. I got... I got all the fish automated. I just ran out of room for like soups and stuff, unfortunately. We'll call two. Oh my gosh, guys, this is it. We're almost there. Well, I guess we gotta do one more day for OT100. We gotta beat it. We gotta beat OT100. And I'll probably choose ice cream unless the customer card is um, individual dining. It depends what the customer card is. If I, if I like it, I might I might take it. I've taken a lot of the nice ones already, though. <laughs> so they're all gonna be mean. Uh, tomato, carrot. Have a good one, Linkery. Later, Dater. Get some rest. Man, it's late. 4 a.m. Oh, you must be. You must be. Wait, did, did Europe have their time zone change it? No, that's on Sunday. You're definitely in Europe. And the time zone after the UK. Hello? Should I call? Swedish, oh, okay, cool. Swedish time. Swedish time! I use meat to cook it in a microwave to make it well done. I have to turn it on three times. Yes, you do. It's kind of weird, but it's kind of nice how it cooks it in stages, because if you're doing well done steaks, it's not that bad. Nothing change? Oh, yeah. Depends where you live. Welcome, Toby! Hello. Okay, we got olive, apple. Welcome, Super Brain. Oh, you're also Swedish. Cool. Any Swedes in chat? Go to bed. <laughs> Have a good one. Good night. I have a mod that when you place food in the microwave, it automatically turn it on to cook it. Oh, that's cool. Is that the Automation Plus one? I've never used that one. Not really. Uh, how's a soup? Well, okay, we're waiting on tomato and carrot. Everything else is in the freezer. I'm just gonna wait. They should be fine. Yeah, they're fine. <gasps> We've done it. We got to 100. Now we're gonna do one more day. Oh god, not dinner rush. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take ice cream. 45 to 38. So it took us 100 overtime days to get all the food. Um, I'm actually done with copying. So we're gonna swap these out. Do I have anywhere for this to go? I don't think I need it. Really. I hate to throw it out though. There's a compactor pin in there. I'll just- I can buy the zoomie. I should- uh, excuse me. I should have enough coffee tables for individual dining. We just gotta pray we get it. <laughs> okay. It's the final day. Is that a compactor bin or regular bin? This, uh, shoes. This is a compactor bin. All the bins I've got right now are compactor bins. I do have a composter bin in here. And we're gonna use that if we get picky eaters. But we're not getting picky eaters. <laughs> OT100 Lettuce Day! <laughs> Thank you, dumplings. Welcome, dumplings! You know how they have, like, a hundred stay at school? And like the kids will bring like a hundred of something and then you go in the hallway and you all line it up 
like you you line up your hundred items to, and then you measure how how like like the length of the whole line I should do that with lettuce leaves <laughs> a subby brush thank you for the resub dumplings Hurrah! a day for celebrating thank you for the eight months thank you so much yay and I think the ad break hello ad break hello ad break are you done hello is everyone back? Welcome back. Oh, T100, let's go. Okay, we're gonna do this day, and then I'm gonna do something else. <laughs> something else. For the first time ever, you bet all your tokens in the prediction. Is it for a hundred? Oh my gosh. One Twitch break when you live in Asia is no ads. Nice. Different game? Uh, different restaurant. I'm gonna do some turbos. I haven't been doing many turbos recently. 38 is in group. Yeah. Welcome, Spooky Baker. Hurrah! And the main reason we only have 38 groups is because we've got every reduction card that we can get with salads, except for leisurely eating currently. We'll have to get that eventually, but that's that's a later problem. That's a later problem. Okay. Oh, my ice cream's wrong. Hang on, no, 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 no. Don't, don't count this, don't count this. Please don't count, don't, don't worry about the prediction. Keep it open, keep it open, keep it. I was busy celebrating. Just don't, don't touch the prediction, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I can't work like this. I can't work in these conditions. Just leave it, please. Please. I've got potatoes to feed. Please. I've got breadboards to feed. Oh, my breadboards. Nothing is fine. Everything's great. Welcome, Charlie. Wow, look at all those breadboards. Look at all them breadboards. Oh, desserts already. Okay, we're gonna call soon once I get most of these in the system. Those boards are struggling. They're doing their best, dude. They're doing their best. Uh, welcome, Meg. So we're there. Ah. Apple. Okay, we can call. Lettuce, I got you. Welcome, Date. Lettuce. Wow. I've never done this. I've never automated all the food in a restaurant. Ice cream doesn't count. Um, I've never... I've never had a, a normal run get past OT100. Autumn's a little different. This is cool. This is, this is a milestone for me. This is a potato stone. Wait, what's a potato stone? That doesn't sound good. Okay, lots of breadboards. It's a mild potato. <laughs> That'd be kind of cute merch. Just get like a little... Paint, paint a little stone, like potato colored be like this is a mild potato oh my god ice cream okay and then cherry slows me down a little bit but that's okay we'll be fine everything's great potato You have crochet- you have calluses from crocheting? Oh my gosh, I didn't know that could happen. 
maybe, maybe you should rest your fingers. I'm glad you're enjoying it, but that doesn't sound safe. If you're hurting yourself. I thought crocheting was supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh. Haha. <laughs> it's so awkward having to run around to go do that. Ooh. Not when trying to start a business to do craft shows. Oh, I see. So you're trying to get a bunch done. That's awesome, though. Welcome, Wildcat. How are you? Just make sure you take care of yourself, okay, there? Don't burn your fingers off. I did that once, and now I'm only left with potatoes. Save scum? What do you mean, save scum? We didn't do that. What do you mean, save scum? What do you mean? I would never. Oh, whoops, I don't need that. Um, oh, it goes there. Potato, potato. Oh, you do want an apple. Oh, man. Wish you told me that sooner. Holy cheese boards. Um, pumpkin seed. My goal is to have 100 done by May 1st. I have 65. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's... I mean, when it depends when you started them, but... That's pretty... That's, that's nice having a bunch of them done already and you got... Gosh, what is that? Oh, since March 1st. Okay, I misread that. Um, no, that's really good. You've already done two-thirds of them in a month. Nice. Uh, picky eaters is gonna really screw me over, man. You're welcome, no problem. Happy to help. I'm helping. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Soup soup! Oh, seeds! Pumpkin seeds! like a big reduction. We're, all, we're already almost on the day. Is 38 the lowest it's gotten? Apple pie looks like lemon pie? Fun fact. I, I did say that. I did I did say that earlier. I don't know if you were here. But uh, originally it was going to be lemon pie and for some reason they changed it to apple pie but they kept the original model. 
So that's why it looks so lemony. Ta-da! Oh. Oh. Well, that's awkward. Um. Other red circle. They look so similar. But the music is kind of relaxing. Yeah. I like it. It puts me in a calm state of mind. You're wondering too? Hey! <laughs> the more you know. Uh oh. Hey. That wasn't yours. The person wanted a two and it meat soup. I can call like... It's probably fine. Okay. <laughs> There you go, and then we go. Oh my goodness. Apple pie. Apple, two more apples, cheese board. Okay, there's our closing time. It's two and a half minutes now. Wow. The pressure's on. The pressure's on. Ah. Apple. Pumpkin. Carrot. You, you. What was it? Was it cherry? Yeah, cherry. I've got a little bit of time to serve them. The carrot soup is actually- we're waiting on it. Uh, carrot soup. Almost done. You thought apple just looked different in Europe? <laughs> no. I've definitely heard uh, UK streamers talking about how it looks weird. <laughs> they have normal apple pie too, I promise. Hey, guess what, guys? We did it! We beat Overtime 100! Oh my gosh! Yay! So, I'm gonna pause on this run for today. Might come back to tomorrow. If not, I'll, we'll, we'll work 